Go ask them people what it's like not to be with your mother. You guys take your mothers for granted today. When you've lost your mother, then you will realize what her maqam is. You will realize the companionship that you was a gangster on the street. Everyone disrespected you. Everyone went against you. People put all kinds of blasphemous and, and derogatory terms against your daughters and against you. But who stood by your side and defended you? Who was there to say, no, my putter is not like that. My daughter is not like that. It was your mother that was there. When, you, when, when crap hits the fan, as they say, and I use the word crap because I'm in the masjid, when crap hits the fan, who do you turn to? You turn to your friends. They're not there for you. They've left you. When you enter into a prison, who visits you in prison? Your boys don't visit you. They forget you. They don't know who you are. It doesn't exist in our life. We move on. We need to earn money, bro. We need to earn. It's all about making an earner. But who visited you in the prison service? Who visited you when you were in that six by six cell? When you die, who's going to visit you at your grave? Your mother's going to be there every Friday doing dua for you. Who's, and, but with, when you die, your mother will be there. My question to you is when your mother dies, will you be there for her? Or are you going to be too busy lost in this dunya? How many of you sitting here who has lost a mother, ask them. Ask them to bring their mothers back today. It will never happen. You will only ever have one mother in your life. No one will ever, ever be able to replace your mother. No matter how great, how big you become in society, your mother is the greatest thing that has ever been given to a man. Is the mother. And I tell you this because I've had to sacrifice my mother. I've had to give up my mother. And I have to ring her on the way here. And I have to say, Mom, do dua for me. I've got a speech in Sheffield. Yet you got mothers at home, but you disrespect them. You got mothers at home and they mean nothing to you. Ask Asim. <laughs> Ask Asim where his mother is. She's passed away. If only he could get his mother back in time now. Ask Umar who invited me today. Where's his mother? She's not here anymore. She's left. Who's going to make food for you today? Who are you going to go home to today? Did you know when your mother was there, she was the cushion for you. She was that teddy bear. You've lost respect for your mother's brothers and sisters. Listen carefully to me. They mean nothing to us really. Because if they meant something to us, your mother wants you to read Salah, but you don't read Salah. Your mother wants you to be practicing on the deen, but you don't practice your deen. You cause harm to her. You make her upset. And you do not realize that when you anger your father, then you have angered Allah Almighty. That the, the pleasure of Allah Almighty lies with the pleasure of, 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 his, of the father. And the anger of Allah Almighty lies with the anger of the father. And the word walid has been used here. If Allah Almighty is angry because your father is angry, imagine how Allah Almighty feels when your mother is angry with you. Just imagine your mother was to give you a bad dua and you was gone in society. You could become, a, you could become everything in society. You could be the don, you could be the, the man who, who rolls around in the flashiest cars. But why is it you never drive your mother in that car, but you drive your girlfriend in there? Why is it you do not give your mother that same respect? Why is it you kiss your mother, but you can't kiss your mother's hands? Why is it you kiss your girlfriend and you can't kiss your mother? Because what is it too low for you?